And when you say project, you mean uh, the building of a new emergency shelter for them. Correct. Can you tell the story behind why that came, that project came about? Well, I'll probably need a little help with some of that uh, to remember a lot of this. Um, as Trey pointed out, this wasn't a project uh, or programmatic based aid, you know, organization at all. It was really just advocacy. Um, and this being this project coming up at all was very controversial within that organization. Um, many, many people involved felt that uh, this wasn't what the organization should be doing uh, for these kinds of projects. Others felt that this is exactly what it should be doing. Well, I think this, there was an effort to try to get some other agencies. It had to do with the closing down of the beds at the State Fair. That, was, state really, that's that exactly was really that's the really the impetus that, that, that started that's all of this. Is. And so there was a there, there was a moratorium for about a year. They, they, they the state fair was going to close those beds. The city intervened, said we need more time to create an alternative. They had another year. The city didn't do much to create that alternative, except to open the West Side Jail as a as a temporary winter shelter. But it wasn't any kind of long term no, permanent solution. shelter with any kind of programmatic. So TAC went out trying to find some other providers that were already doing uh, homeless. Services to see if they would maybe take on this additional project and try to develop a men's shelter. There were no takers, and so that's when Hack began to think about: Can we create, this, spin this off, have it become its own nonprofit, not be a program of Hack, but but developed on in its in its own right? And that's that's where I mean that's how I remember it. Yeah, you're right. I'm glad you pointed that. And they uh, and and I think it's important to remember that at the time, we're talking 2001-ish, is when it all sort of started with the State Fair mm -hmm. uh, Commission saying we're not going to house homeless folks here in the winter. Um, they're really the environment in Albuquerque for increasing services to homeless folks was extremely contentious. Um, trying to find a place, as Sam mentioned earlier, um, posed a, an extremely uh, difficult set of challenges. But in addition to that, trying to find money, both for to run a shelter and also to provide services that would make it more than simply a warehouse. Um, and then, as, as Sam mentioned and, and Trey mentioned, to find an agency who wanted to take that risk, you know, put their goodwill on the line and uh, move into a neighborhood where Neighborhoods anywhere in the city where everyone was saying "not in my backyard," um, it was it was to say it was challenging is yeah. is an understatement. Nobody wanted to do it. I mean, that is quite literally the case. Yeah, politically, it was a very difficult time. <laughs> no one said all. I'm not going because there was no money, even though it had been prioritized. The, the, it being the program, the need for some sort of year-round emergency shelter with services for men um, had been prioritized by the Continuum of Care for. Years, oh, for a long time. If not for kind of forever, um, meaning since the beginning of the continuum of care process, um, uh, no one, no one would do it.